Hello everyone, it's an exciting day today. I get to unbox my new tripod. Um, now this is a bit upsetting because I was hoping to unbox all my new camera stuff at the same time and have it all set up at the same time. I ordered a new camera, a new camera case, new tripod, new SD card and I was hoping I'd use it all in one bang. But as you guys saw from my vlog, my new camera has been a complete disaster. Um, I'll be sending that back out tomorrow. So um, I thought I might as well start using the new tripod with this camera because I don't know if you can tell, this shot is slightly wonky. I can actually see the tripod's wonky and my, my tripod's been broken for about, um, probably about two years, maybe a year and a half. Um, I can go back to one of my old videos and I can hear myself going, uh, uh, sorry about the wonky shot, you know, my tripod's broken and all this stuff. Um, now the history behind this tripod, I actually got it at the exact same time as my original MacBook. Um, I got it from the same place. Um, I bought them both sec second hand. I also got a pair of Sony, uh, what are the model number? I still use them to this day. Uh, Sony MDR V, yeah, Sony MDR V300 headphones and uh, an M Audio Nova condenser microphone along with this tripod, which is a Sony something or other. Can't find the model number. Um, actually, yeah, here it is. VCT. F6410 or something, um, but yeah, I got all of those products from the same place and they were all really cheap, like I paid £10 for this tripod, I think it's £40 brand new, I paid £3 for those headphones, they were about £30 brand new at the time, I paid uh, a fiver for the microphone, that mic's about 90 and my MacBook price, um, I've never announced that to you guys because it's just too crazy, but I got it all from this local community organisation that was... Um, filming a pr promotional community video um, and once they did the vid they didn't need any of the gear anymore um, but to cut a long story short this is broken this tripod and it was always too small for my liking uh, this is actually at full height and that's really not cool so I wanted a taller tripod so I bought a four section tripod I've splashed out a little bit of money on it um, I'll leave a link to it on Amazon but here it is uh, it's in a box which is awesome it's the I don't know how you say it, um, but uh, it's the Hanel or Hamel or something like that. Tri Tri D uh, 60 light tripod. I can't actually remember what it's called on the thing in the box. It's kind of hard to read, but uh, it's a professional aluminium tripod. Um, it feels pretty damn heavy. So let's dig into the box and have a look. Be really looking forward to getting a straight camera shot. <laughs> Okay, so, first thing I feel is the carry case for it, and that's completely it for the box. So here's the tripod and its carry case. It's a really nice, small, compact case, as you can see. I can just hold it with one hand like this. It's really nice. It says the name of the tripod on it. That's cool, and it's also got a little handle, so you could put it on your shoulder or whatever. So that's really cool. Let's take a little look inside. It's got a nice zip part at the top. And here is the tripod itself. So let's put the case to one side. Yeah, this is a really, really nice piece of kit. Um, yeah, really nice. The quality that I'm feeling at the moment is 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 really nice, guys. Okay, so um, you can see we have the tripod head here, um, and we've got a couple of different levels here, little spirit levels. Um, the head looks really nice, actually. Um, here are the legs. You've got three sections here, so like four section legs. Let's open her out, actually, and see how tall she goes. Bear with me for a second here, guys. Okay, so guys, this tripod is the same height as my tripod. Um, like, with the legs up like this. It's without, like, cranking it up. So that's really cool. 
feels very, very nice, very stable and straight, which is obviously a feature that I've been waiting for. <laughs> it sounds really ridiculous, but um, you know, all I've wanted is a is a a tripod that can that can be straight. So here's the head, and I think somehow you can flip it like a portrait view. Ah, there you go, like that. Really, really easy. So that's the uh, the portrait mode, <laughs> and that's your standard one. So yeah, that's awesome. Really, really nice. It's a very smooth head. Um, I've loosened it a little bit too much there, actually. Yeah, but it's really fluid. Ah, of course, I'm loosened down here. Oh, we can go up even more, can we? I'm going to have to figure all this out, but whoa, this is a tall machine. <laughs> this is a really tall tripod. All right, guys, cool. This is awesome. This works very differently to the tripod that I have now. Um, but yeah, it's a very smooth pan and tilt. Um, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to giving it a go. That, yeah, that definitely feels really, really nice. So this is my new tripod, guys. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Um, it's definitely a lot more of a beast than this tripod, even though they're pretty much around the same price. Reasons why I didn't buy the same one again. Um, it generally feels rickety. Um, it broke fairly soon after I got it, about two years after I got it, which I know, you know, two years is two years, but I didn't even use it that much. Um, and it's just not tall enough. This is much, much taller. This is the same height as me, practically. And uh, that's just phenomenal. So, yeah, I really like this tripod, guys. It seems to be uh, seems to be really, really nice. So, that was my unboxing. Sorry it was a bit all over the place. Um, but I've never really unboxed a tripod before. And I've never really bought a brand new tripod before. So this is a really nice one. I think I've made the right decision. Um, it just, like, see, for example... The quality thing I was on about the little tripod bit here is actually metal, the unscrewy bit, whereas on this one it's plastic and it feels as if it's just about to break every single time I use it. So that's really nice. Um, if I can actually get it back on, there we go. But yeah, really looking forward to using this, especially with my new camera. Um, dying to get my new camera on the go, but this tripod is just a total beast. I love it. It looks awesome. <laughs> A lot more professional when I turn up to do uh, filming than this thing. So um, this thing served me well, but I think it's time for it to go in the cupboard as an extreme backup. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. And uh, there probably won't be a product review or anything like that, simply because I don't know anything about tripods. But um, I picked this one because it looked cool. It came with a carrying case. It was cheaper than some of the other alternatives with similar specs. And uh, it was a lot taller and generally a lot more sturdy than my one. So, again, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.